why that was and, and how, again, they all talk about uh, the branches being done, but only John mentions palm branches. And to lead you with that thought of remembering, John's whole image of Christ is to present him as God. So what a coincidence that he's the only writer who mentions the branches being palm branches because he wants to make sure we know this is the indwelling God of the Godhead, Colossians 2, 9, dwelling in him bodily and full. The mystery of Godliness is right in front of us, manifested in the flesh. So he makes note that it wasn't just branches, it was palm branches to, to, to emphasize and emphatically declare his deity. Not just a God, the only one there ever is, was, ever will be. He's that God. That's who Jesus is, was, and always will be. So with that, we'll end in prayer. And if you have any other questions, let me know. We'll, we'll stop here. So, Father, thank you for this time we've had, opportunity to reflect back on all the discourse, your will, your, 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 your word, your truth, understanding you give to us. Thank you so much for helping us and guiding us through getting, again, our communication back together again with each other. But always, always help us to remember that your communion with us is never failing, always constant. The heavenly lines of communication don't rely on technology or internets or other things. We thank you so much that we can talk to you, regardless of what time of this world that you brought life into being, whether man, woman, child, of any time frame, we know that we can always just speak to you and talk with you and have your presence be made known to us in our darkest times, in our greatest times, in our valleys, in our mountaintop experiences. Thank you for always being there. Remind us of your redemptive work, of the deep reaches of your arms, of your hands, to reach out and pull us out of whatever we've been in and are in or have been through or are struggling with. And let's always remember our sins are, are many. Not a surprise to you. You know them all and you love us and you forgive us and you've already sustained and provided for us a fulfillment and a in full paid in debt. But all we have to do is just confess our sin and reach out to you for the, for the ongoing purification, ongoing sanctification, ongoing reconciliation of being at peace with you. Thank you for reminding us of that coming into Palm Sunday. Thank you for reminding us of the joy of that Palm Sunday we're going to talk about leading up into the time of most traumatic suffering and pain that you would go through. It's, ear, it's sandwiched in between a time of joy of Palm Sunday and a time of joy of resurrection. In between it is this horrific, horrific violent act done unto you. Let's understand the whole gamut of that and with that being said, how you taught the Olivet Discourse, how you taught us to understand what's coming out ahead and to be prepared for this in our mind, our heart, our soul, and our body. Help us continue to be your children, faithful to you, and continue to be thankful and live our lives and circumspectfully, always looking at how we can do to be better in our, our walk and our thoughts and how we think we, than we are what we do. And Father, we thank you for all this and we ask this in Jesus, Yeshua's name, we, we pray, amen. So I went off a little sidetrack. I wanted to help you because it's not fair. I wanted to catch you up on something. It was, oh, it was helpful. Yes, sir. Thank you. So you knew, so you knew a lot of that you were saying about Cain, about the Satan and all that, about well, Eve? I mean, I mean, kind of? I, I, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I